two. Ooh. Mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Microwave Beats. Your girl, Sarah the Instrumentalist. I appreciate you guys waiting, being patient. this beat basically that i'm um two beats we worked on last week i'm just going to record it into machine i'm going to stem it out individually let's start off with the drum let's go here this back out let's listen to it real quick
down this drum real quick. Fine details of the sample. The DMV in the house. That's what's up. Got South Carolina Rock Hill in the house. What's up, Willie? Just got the Datsun beat course for Father's Day. That's what's up. Happy Father's Day. I know Datsun has an amazing course on the machine, on or basically on finger drumming, so that's really dope. Um, I definitely want to like learn more about finger drumming. I was on my finger drumming game when I first started, but you know, it really it requires a lot of a lot of concentra a lot of a lot of goodness, a lot of you know, coordination. So shout out to that son. Shout out to you for being a great father. And if your partner got you that for Father's Day, that's that's even dope shout outs to them. So this is a ninety. Wow. What up, J E? Hey scale. Measies and Charlotte. Let's see if it's over for Pia. Charlotte, North Carolina. Ooh, okay. Nice. Got my drums here. I'm about to record the sample. get better at making sure I document my samples 
so I'm not going everywhere which way trying to figure out what it is um you're trying to figure out which media to get what do you think NPC or machine I'm a machine head come on like there wouldn't be no microwave without no more you know I don't use um the NPCs MIDI or their software um I just like to chop up my samples on this device right now I've gotten my purpose out of this the other stuff I'm like oh that's cool but it don't it don't hit it don't hit the same as like contact it doesn't hit the same as like um the expansion packs for me it's expansion packs it can, you know y'all know if native instruments ain't gonna come out in the hardware they're gonna come out with some software and this is the software and how like easy it is to chop up stuff the workflow is amazing you can make things sound the way you need the sound with plugins um I'm gonna be number one advocate for machine all day long, baby. So you'll see me on this NPC, but you know, it still ain't got me with the plugins or the sounds. I do like chopping it up. And like, I like the SP for the effects and stuff, but um, I would get the machine MK3 specifically. Go ahead and invest in that. There's a, um, a link in the description right now. I think it's like $5.99 on Zounds a great deal and they they like ship it to you like the next day um it's an affiliate link so it does help this channel so if you do decide to purchase anything it would help if you just go to my link in my my bio so appreciate you and everyone else that decides to do the same thing so um close to charlotte i was there today for work that's what's up like charlotte reminds me the first thing of i think of charlotte it's Bojangles. And how and now I'm, I get sad that I can't eat it. I try to make my own. It's not the same. <laughs> I mean, I try to make my breakfast, but not the, the dinner portion. I'm in Pennsylvania. I live in Delaware now. Nice. So you're not paying taxes, huh? Something like that, right? I know a lot of people used to go shopping in Delaware. Just said they have to pay the um the sales taxes. Random fact. I used to live in North Carolina and um New York City, so in between is Delaware. Anyways, let's let's record this. Let me listen to it real quick. Add some effect to it. Got Savannah, Georgia in the <laughs> I 
my mom is here, you guys. Everyone say hi to my mom. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. Her birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, mommy. Hope that you get to go to your acting class and get to run your tri run and swim and do your triathlon. Let's try athlons, y'all. She did one last week. Now she's gonna do another one. <laughs> so that's where I get a lot of my ambition, my <laughs> my my consistency from. We got flaming. It's crazy because it really sounds like my. <laughs> This is the NPC X Special Edition. It just came out like a month or two ago. The link is in the, the bio if you want to check it out. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Like, it actually makes things a lot easier. Um, I haven't touched the, the retro since. Even though the retro, I feel like, is probably the best beat machine um, as far as, like, NPCs out right now. Cause it's portable it's got a battery battery um but this is a lot easier especially if you just want to get straight to the point because all of these buttons serve that purpose so let me just okay, put this over here since that's not working since the first video i saw you one thing immediately stuck me uh struck me you have a very positive attitude, like the sun is about to rise. <laughs> Aw, that's so sweet. Look, now it is my dog. Thank you so much. I am grateful that I am naturally positive. <laughs> I appreciate that. The feedback and the love. I enjoy that about myself as well. Especially like recently, I'll wake up all happy. <laughs> well, it's a nice day. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. MK3s right here. I'm using everything. I'm greedy. I am from Raleigh, North Carolina. I live in LA right now.
wasa wafa wafa. That's why. I know what I did. It's so off the grid. Oh, my nigga. We don't need to start at the one. We wanted to start at the three. PC then. Hmm, let me think. What's up, A Major Keys? Thanks for coming through. I totally made this beat off grid, and that's how I recorded. <laughs> um. Little 
bop. A little microwave beat, you know? Let's do it. Oh no. It's recording the drum. That's the one thing about this NPC I don't understand. Like when I hit the mute on the track, why why doesn't it mute the whole track? Like on all the sequences. Or maybe there's a button. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. It's like I'm a, I'm a, it's like I'm gonna make a I'm a beat I'm gonna make a beat tape on this first and then I'm a, I'm gonna learn <laughs> learn how to use it. <laughs> oh, when are we gonna learn to pick up a manual? It comes with it. What's up, Carpet Vibes? My day is amazing. It's Friday, making beats. Been making rugs all week or fi trying to finish these NPC rugs. Um, if you guys want to see one, I can bring one out because I've been working my ass off <laughs> on, it, on it. Um, anyways, um, how's your day been? What's going on with you in your world? What's the highlight of your day? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I work really hard on my setup. You're very welcome, Mommy. I appreciate you and your support and your love. Hope that you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful weekend. I love your music, especially while I'm making um, Sims, The Sims 2. <laughs> so dope. <laughs> um, tell me about your Sims. What you got? Because I love that um, people now can make like real, I mean like Sims like that. That's like real. It's like a, a reality TV show. But you're controlling it, which is dope. Like, tell me about your Sims. Like, where are you playing on the computer, or um, like, how do you play now these days? I used to love Sims. So, so thanks so much for great songs and. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I love you too. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> German. Hi, how are you? I can't say your last name. But I appreciate you coming through. Let's record this again. Let's see. Thank you so much. come across something Japanese um wait in order so in order for you to get effects from the sp 404 you have to record the track to another DOM if you export the beat from the machine or NPC will the effect from the sp 404 record into the beat um good question um so right now so like literally right now as literally i I can hit this button called mark and it, it's called skip back and it plays the last 40 seconds of whatever i just did <laughs> Thank you. 
and right now I have like a a, a few effects. Um, one the sample, so I can hit record and I can save it onto a pad, and then I could export it via my SD card or the USB C cable, um, or record it into my DAW. Um, so that's one way, right? Um, another way is literally like there's this, you know, a few options where you can record a pattern into machine or not to machine into the SP four four, and there's an option to record effects like um an automation. I have that in my most recent update video. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, it's also in the course for the SP four hundred four. So, um, and then another way is basically resample. Um, you could like play a, a play a song. Well, first of all, you would hit resample, hit record, choose an empty pad, and then play the song, and then do effects and stuff. You can even grab a microphone and have a show. Can you can you do it at the same time? Uh, it's complicated. But once you hit record, that that song with the effects is recorded onto that, that empty pad that you chose. And then um and then you can export it via the X, you know, the S D card, the um you can record it your on your onto your DAW if you want to. Um or there's a USB C cable <laughs> and um there's a um, SP404 app on the computer where you could um, export directly from the SP404 to either your DAW or to the computer. It's all in the course. You guys head over to our, yep, mm -hmm. noquantize.com. Make sure you guys check out um, No Quantize. There's uh, the complete guide to Roland's SP404 MK2 and the machine MK3. My, my, my two favorite devices, pretty much. Um, wrapping my head, I'm wrapping my head around the NPC and the family of the NPC. Once I feel comfortable, I will definitely be making a course, probably first on the NPC Live too. And like this is pretty much like once you learn that, this is like oh, this is actually fun and easier. Ah, uh, anyway. Thank you, thank you. Let me get my sounds together. Okay, cool. Thank you. my PC with a lot of custom content and mods to make my game more fun. I built a lot in Sims 2. Do you have a YouTube channel? I mean, I know you have YouTube, but like, are you posting your content? Because you should. Yes, of course, I got you. Definitely need the course. Check out the course. Cause these devices ain't no joke. I I know how it feels to get something new and like look at it 
see people online using it like oh look at it it's so cool look at all the cool stuff and then you get it and it's like all these buttons and like like especially right now like this new sp44 there's like just one button has a number there's a play button and then there's utility like it does three things one button does three things but it doesn't all at once you know what i'm saying so um and it's like um when am i gonna use the play button and then when you go to dj mode like, oh it makes sense <laughs> you know so yeah anyway since this song is pretty short so i'm gonna probably add a bass line later on my own time i actually have like another song that i started in serato so i was i had a mentorship conversation i have a um um a new mentee, his name's Chris, and he was explaining how he was in the middle of creating up um his album, and he has like sixteen ideas, and like some of them, most of them are not done. None of them are done. Like some of them are almost done. Some of them need features. Some some of them need to be mixed. Some things need are just ideas. And I just told him that you have to finish your ideas before you start the next one. So I'm a very, like, I'm very adamant about that. That's why, like, today I'm finishing what we did last week. At least, like, as far as just making sure I have the skeleton of the, the project, I'm going to have it saved. I'm having, a, like, a skeleton of it in, like, the mixtape folder. And I know my personal time I'll add a baseline and, like, other elements to spice it up um, before I just start a new beat. And, like, at least... That's my workflow. Everyone's workflow is different. I explained to him, like, you should have your own workflow. Um, for me, it's easier for me to have a skeleton. I can add a baseline like like that. But I like to do it on my own time because it's a lot of... It's just... just, just <laughs> you guys know, it's a lot of... It's a lot of... <laughs> you know? Um, I don't want to bore you with that. But um, I enjoy showing you guys the beginning process, at least of the um, chopping up of the sample and and at least starting the the beat. Um, but yeah, finish what you start. Figure out what kind of workflow that you have for yourself that works for you and stick to it. Okay. All right. What a time at the browse thing. Ooh, I'm a subscriber. Woo! Welcome to Mar. Hope I'm not messing up your name, Lamar. Damar. Appreciate you subscribing. I'm gonna redo that one. Good morning to you. Where are you, Richard? Because right now it's 2.51 p.m. in L.A. I love that. We're all in a different place right now, and we're hanging out. We're hanging out, bro. It's Friday over here. It's probably like it's it's a new day over there and stuff. It's Saturday. Oh, I got this. Again, I'm going on one day. Yes, 
I'm doing taboo stuff. <laughs> Richard asks, are you mixing the Akai and <laughs> instruments together at the same time? <laughs> Am I the first one to do that? Have y'all ever seen that before? Put in the comments, have you ever seen <laughs> someone use it? <laughs> she liked machines so much that she just decided to add it to her MP. Just, she just couldn't stop. It's because they're not the same. I mean, they now they kind of are, but like, you know, we got Quirly Beats. Subscribe. You gotta do subscribe. Y'all got subs for each and every subscriber, y'all. Because right now, I don't know why it's taking me forever, but I I, I appreciate all y'all. But I need to get to 100,000 subscribers. I've been doing this for like 12,000 years. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm right where I need to be. Let me stay right here, humble. Get that black hole energy change. Just like, ah! No, just like. <laughs> yeah. Is that how y'all laugh out there? Where you? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Rabbit. Better. I love that everyone laughs differently. <laughs> In different places, but it's the, it's the same laugh, you know. But they spell it differently. It's, it's it's cute. What's up? Machine production. What is up, Charlie? <laughs> Did I just call you Charlie? I'm like, God. I'm so I'm so sorry, Charles. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Charles. Might as well just change your name <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. Do I have any tips on how to, hold on, get my eyes. Do you have any tips on how to add interesting transitions to your beats? Mm. Less is more. Take out some drums. Take out some drums at the end of the, the you know, at the end of uh, the loop and then also at the beginning of the next one that's a tip or you know if you take the drums away you can add like a sample we do uh-huh i'm actually going to be releasing a new sound pack that's just vocals that's just like hip-hop like um vocals of yo what's up Hey, you know, ad libs and stuff so you can add, you know, in the beat, you know, little when that you know, that that'd be nice too, right? Little little things like that. Um, bird sounds. <laughs> you know, little little biggie, yo, you know. Or like sound effects. Um I like I really like programs like Serato Studio. We're gonna pull up pull that up in a few minutes because it keeps the, the samples in the same key or the project in the same key. So if you do transition from one sample to another, it keeps it in the same key so it sounds really good. So honestly, it's just a matter of like making sure everything sounds good. Um, I don't really do like, I don't know. It just depends, you know, what kind of song I'm making. If I'm like composing an actual song, I'm building it, I'm building up, and then I'm, like, removing it, you know, going to a bridge, changing. For me, like, for me, like, if I'm actually, it's it's a difference between, like, beat making, like, I can just get a sample, chop it up, right? It already is there, like, the composition is done. But, like, if I'm creating the composition from scratch, like, 
with the piano and I'm making my own samples and stuff. Like, I love the um, circle of fifths. That helps you figure out, you know, if you have, let's say you have a chord progression or you have a four bar loop of samples and you need to add more and you want to like transition to um, like the keys, you know, like maybe there's four, you know, four bars of a, a loop or samples playing. You want to like extend the song, pull out the circle of fifths. Um, and literally like go up or down um the the circle of fifths and use those chord progressions or like um learn to scale learn your scales everybody cuz if you learn the scale if you know what key your samples are in and you know the scale then you can know which chord work because it's not all major and minor it's got it's got some major some minor some um and then some of them work some of them don't you can some, but but there's no rules kind of you can kind of do whatever you want so i it's really like it goes into like music theory stuff and but yeah definitely learn how to play the keys um, because if you do have like a four bar loop, um, or let's say you do have a four bar loop, like a sample, you want to add some effects to it, maybe like a low pass filter, um, like for an example, there's a song that I just, is it this? from like the sample to like a low pass I play the filter I'm not gonna play the whole song but yeah um a lot of things that you can do i think what's up op miller what up you at the office now what you doing what you doing um there's a lot of ways to like oh speaking of serato studio op definitely is like like been very helpful to help me understand more about um serato um yeah um, OP is the OG at the Serato, Serato place. Um, I know you're, you're probably like in New York or something right now. You're probably off of work or something. Good for you. Go get a beer or something. You have 25 years of unfinished music. You need to go finish right now. You know how much money that you're just sitting on right now? And it's just sitting on your hard drive. Especially if it's like beats that are like being used for like using like the vintage gear. Release it. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a vibe. Just release it, let it go, make some beat tapes. You know, go use some AI to make some artwork or use some like old pictures you have at the crib. Release it. And then like, uh oh. Um, there's a link in my bio for DistroKid for you to, um, to get 7% off your first year of DistroKid. DistroKid is already extremely affordable. Like, there's no excuse that you're not releasing music. So, um, I love your style. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. 
I did have a channel, but my computer kind of crashed and I lost all my stuff. So I had to reinstall Windows 10 again and all of my stuff I lost along the way. So I have to make a new channel and start over. Yeah, don't let no computer, no software stop you. You think, you think I'm a, well, Sarah didn't show up because her software stopped. Mm -mm. I got like three computers right now. <laughs> like, just because like you got to be, you know, committed. You know, like, all right, this one ain't working. Oh. <laughs> um, and these are just things you collect over time. Like, even with the setup with like this um live stream, this camera that just went out, hopefully it's coming back on. It's actually my old iPhone. Um, let me just figure out what's going on with that. Let me. Oh. Be right back. Let me figure out what's going on with this camera. to be my mentor well all you gotta do is go to nonquarantize.com i would suggest going now because i'm gonna let y'all know right now i'm about to be busy and i and starting august and the price is gonna go up <laughs> i'm just like y'all know y'all you i ain't got no problem hitting that button um so go ahead and, <laughs> and sign up right now at no quantize if you like to speak with me before i get into my little busy um, I still will be doing live streams, of course, every Friday, but, um, my availability for mentorship is going to be a little bit slim, slim, jimity, jim, jim, jimity, jimity, um, what's up, Michael? Thank you. Peace to you. Let's listen, let's, let's listen, let's see what we got real okay. quick. Australia right now, y'all. It's amazing. Okay, so that's what's going on.
Be right back. That puppy here, y'all. Another day, another bark. Lucy. Anyways, let me save this beat, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Might be 2016,000 bazillion. Uh, Organize it. Number sixteen, B K number seventeen. And let me export it. I like to save my projects and also like export the audio so I can listen to it later in the car and be like, okay, this is what I did today. You know. And also have a, an idea of where I'm at with my beat tape. Because right now, we're, we're coming along. We got, we got one more to put in this folder after this. So this is just an idea. But let me duplicate this. And re-export it. Now finish it later later let's add this finish the beat that or record the beat that the other beat we started last week we save this And I get that again. It is five fifty two or it at least it's probably six ten now. PM in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. That's what's up. I'm pretty is is it interesting right now that like I'm pretty sure you still see the sun and I do too. And so big. I mix out the time. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm not the first one. Let's mix them up. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let me go do a trademark on it, though. I got to be the first one. I could be the best one, though. Ooh. We got 1055 in London. Okay. I know I'm late reading these comments, but I like to read all y'all comments as I go. Let's listen to this song. I made this last week. A little vibe. forever. I think YouTube actually um lowered their their requirements for monetization recently. Let's look that up real quick because that's an important topic to talk about. To help mot motivate y'all, y'all can get paid. day for 
y'all. Let me let me tell y'all about this. Hold on. requirements as you can see right now you see what with, with that 500 subscribers three valid public uploads within nine days just three three thousand watch hours in the past year to get monetized uh, on YouTube. And if you have shorts, all you need is 3 million valid public short views in 90 days, which is actually like doable, I guess, if you actually already have content on other platforms, you can recycle it, um, see how it does for 90 days. But honestly, the regular video thing to me is doable because some people already have subscribers um 500 is it is hard at first i'm not gonna lie but um turn your hobby into money trust me previously youtube required a thousand subscribers 4,000 watch hours or and or 10 million short views so they really have like cut things in half <sighs> do you taste that taste the money <laughs> so go ahead and start your youtube channel um i'm gonna probably make a course on how to make a youtube channel as well Give some of my tips and tricks there's so many things i want to do i have a long list of things that i want to do i wish i could clone myself i'm pretty sure they're gonna invent that in next year you know i'm setting up my machine software Give it a chance. I just updated it too, so it should be better from last time I was using it. Lucy, what are you barking at? What are you barking at? Who are you barking at? Hey, Sarah, you're a big inspiration for Miss for me. I like it. And I wish you a great career for a long time greeting from Germany. Thank you so much, Groove Town Records. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. <laughs> ha ha ha. In Japanese. <laughs> the Jojo Jo. Is that ha 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 in Japanese? <laughs> Jojo Jo. <laughs> but do they laugh like that? And do they say Jojo Jo? Jo Jo Jo. <laughs> I don't know. Gail. What's up, Record Crate? I appreciate you coming through. I think about you all the time and all the lovely records that you have in your record store. Make sure you guys go visit the record crate in Raleigh, North Carolina, downtown. They have an amazing variety of records. How about that? You got your, you got your free sponsorship. We love you. Because I don't remember all my old email accounts. I delete my old channels. That's, that's the thing. That is the thing. 
So I'm here in, let's see. Different pair modes. Okay. I'm here in Serato. I'm going to go ahead and record my audio. We're going to give it a try. We're not loyal to any doll, y'all. I'm about to get Ableton and Pro Tools in the next month or two. Peter's gonna be pissed off. Yes, the circle of fifths is is the is the key. All of Sarah's keys is basically the 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 album should just be called Circle of Fifths, basically, because <laughs> that's what I was using. I was like, um, what's in the circle of fifths? What does that say? She has an addiction to me. She has to be close by. coming to get us like no one has ever came to like go through those doors and do what you think that they're gonna do this is um 90 bpm giving it a try Here's the drum pattern. Okay, let's get the sample up on this joint. It's only two bars, so. Quick. Ooh, 
I know what I'm gonna do. Ooh, I'm excited. Hold on, I'm gonna just record it as is. started put in the comments what you're doing this weekend what do you do with the b tape you release it and <laughs> listen to it the most important part is releasing it there's so many people out here that listen to beat tapes that don't make beats that love listening to beats all the time like um I mean, just even going, I went to a local um, cupcake or, like, cake place that I saw on Instagram, and then um, the lady recognized me, and I was just like, well, you should be playing my beats <laughs> in um, your your cafe. She pulled up my name. I to pull up my name. She pulled up on Spotify, and, you know, sometimes you got to put get one person at a time, and then, you know, um, but they need a vibe like the vibe for the um for their their audience is like lo-fi hip-hop you know happy good good sounding music so um you know this music's gonna be independent it's not this particular beat tape um so let's say if a company does hit me up and wants to use it or license it like um then it gives not only me the opportunity, but the people that that made these samples the opportunity to to get uh, a portion of you know some money. You can license the beat, so we release it and let it go and see what happens because it's independent. We can pretty much do what we want, which is the beauty of part. You release your own mu- your own music, so um yeah, you never know what can happen. Trust me, I didn't, I didn't know. The second part. Oh, no. When you're humble, you dim your light You're not so bright (laughs) I don't think it's that really good to be humble Think about it twice Um, As a black woman That's highly educated That's worked her ass off I am not going to be humble anymore Than my life for nobody, okay? You can be humble I definitely am very humble. I definitely don't tell people a lot. But there's definitely things I'm not going to not shine my light and bright brightness on. So got to have a balance. Um, And there's nothing wrong with being rich and famous. Especially the rich part. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some fame is actually good. Some people do good um with their fame, you know. Especially like having a YouTube channel, it you know you can get rich, right? But you can also make an impact. The more people that you um that you reach, 
the more influence that you have to 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 inspire people. Some people are down on their luck, you know. I'm highly inspired by people that I watch all the time. Um, like that's why celebrities are celebrating. <laughs> like people are inspired by them. People are still watching the Kardashians because they love that their lifestyle. Who wouldn't want to live a nice lifestyle or at least try it out? You know, we have one life to live. If you want to limit yourself to to oodles and noodles, go for it. I'm in peanut butter and jelly. I'm not having it. Like <laughs> I'm not having it, buddy. So, um. Anyways, you are all welcome to raid my tunes and beat. Yeah. Get one stand all over back up. But got um got one stand all over back up. I got the Kai Force looking to get the push three, push two already. Nice. Push one and run away. These standalones still have a long way to go. I shall say for myself. I hope the machine or native instruments come through. Take your time, take your time. Anyway. What up, Bobcat the Legend? Appreciate you coming through. Your first time seeing me on the Kai Gear, welcome. Now you can go through the archive of videos that I've made within the past six months of me using the the NBC. <laughs> Thank you in advance. So now we have these audios here. Let me add them. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do? My dog can't get in. Excuse me. You. Hey, let's put on the Serato. Let's see what's about. I love to spend a year or three making tunes. With you, mate, but oceans apart. Ooh, 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 ooh. I let my passport expire during COVID. Well, you gotta go get another one, ain't it? Y'all got one time limit? Come on, y'all. <laughs> get that passport. Everybody, get your passport. Y'all, y'all know they, they plotting against y'all? Fine, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta get y'all shit together. Well, I don't got my passport to leave. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Alright. Get my passport. Get the global entry. TSA pre. The clear. The Delta Lounge. <laughs> Oops.
so that's the that's the thing okay 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 hmm let me think hmm let me go ahead and just compose this part and then the next part this Double it, triple it. make like a like a extremely random trap album throw y'all off it's so good oh my god it's sample based trap why did they do this um i have like a long list of things that i'm doing that's that's definitely on my radar trust me i have not i'm not sleeping on fl studio i just i'm literally like i literally just found out today that I have to I have to get Ableton Live and Pro Tools for school in August. So as you saw I'm using machine, NPC and Serato and that's just within the last hour. So like we're gonna add two more big dolls. Oh yeah, and I'm really wanting to learn logic. Like uh, uh, so okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get there. We're gonna I'm gonna be the master of all this stuff, y'all. I'm gonna be a course on everything. <laughs> But I really do want to understand because every doll has its own benefits and like cool features. You know, there's the Adobe Atmos thing with Logic. There's the, I mean, the, everything with Ableton. But like the the eight oh weights on the FL Studio, like I definitely need to explore, explore and find out. When was the last time you? might like made a beat outside um i don't make beats in the studio 
for a long time. That's when I really didn't have a comfortable situation to actually, you know, a new place to, I have a place to, 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 to have a comfortable spot now. I do. So. Um, I know. Only one's there. I know. Uh, it's been a lot of work. Um, my machine is my go-to. It's still here. Everything is just adding and just adding to the stuff. Oops. Have you ever participated in a beat battle? I have. There's actually a video on my YouTube channel right now. That if you type in, um, how I met DiBiase, um, and lost a beat battle, I was like in second place, and every time someone watches that video, I'm not even gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. Just watch the video, and you comment, and you let me know what you thought about the battle. <laughs> and I want you to really listen and 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 watch the video. But um, that was like the beginning of my YouTube channel. I went to I was staying out in the Bay Area, um. I do not like participating in beat battles. I've done a few. Um, I definitely will be making some. Not necessarily a battle, but probably a competition where, like, not people against each other, but, like, you know, whoever does have, like, the best sets to beat get something. Um, so it's just, like, fun and games. Like, I remember the first time I got into a contest, that's how I actually started making beats. So, like, just getting someone excited about making beats. Um, I know that, that that's very helpful. So what effects is that on the SP? Right now, it's a um, 303 vinyl simulation. Ew. Will you explain what microwave beats are? So mi microwave beats is basically, you know how like, um, well in America, I don't know how it is everywhere. I know other places, um, but I know you're in Raleigh. So um, concept of microwave beats is to make really quick beats, like a snack. You know how like when we, most things we put in a microwave for the most part, you know, you put it in for a minute and it's done. It's really quick. It's yummy, it's in your tummy and it gets you through the day. It's not, it's not a full meal. It's not like you're cooking like a full thing. Like I'm not going to, sit here and cook up a whole beat like i'm not gonna sit here and make a full song because that takes me sometimes hours or days sometimes i like to leave but like my intention is to show up on fridays to at least chop up some samples some drums because my intention is to make a beat tape and that beat tape this beat tape is going to be on vinyl so once the songs are done i'm gonna do a crowdfunding situation so you guys can help Basically, you would pay for your vinyl, and if it gets re reaches to a certain amount of money, um, it'll get published, um, and you'll receive your vinyl. And hopefully, it'll be in your record store, so it'd be dope to talk to you about how I can get my vinyl in your record store. Um, but like, it's really paying homage to Jay Dilla, because when um I got into beat making, like really interested in it i really listen to a lot of his beats and i love that a lot of his beats are very simple um but they're very good and they're short they get straight to the point there's no intro there's no outro it's like boom and then it goes straight to the and it flows right into the next beat effortlessly and i i've always wanted to make a beat tape like that and i want to make a lot of beat tapes like that so now that i'm a full-time artist like my goal right now to is to to do that and it's been a long time since i made a beat tape my first beat tape was called conversations um i released it in like 2018 i recently removed it from streaming services because i was sampling a lot of vinyl as you know and i and then and i didn't clear the sample so don't want to get in trouble i want to do things the right way i'm very committed to doing things the right way as an artist so right now i'm using samples from um the sample the sample app um, some from Polyphonic, 
Um, occasionally I use Tracklib, some from my own library from No Quantize. Um, a lot of my drum sounds are amazing. Um, but basically just making really quick beats, showing y'all the process and and not just doing it just to do it. Like y'all gonna be hearing these beats and like it's gonna be on vinyl. I'm like, oh, I was there when she made this. Like, oh my god, you know. So, um, and then like I have the little microwave here that I made. Well, someone made this microwave. I had another microwave that looked very lo-fi. This one's very much, you can actually see that it's a microwave. And then it's me and the TV and my little chat thing that's not working down here for some reason. But I can't do, put y'all's message up there and then I have my little, you know, and see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's just the concept and I just ran along with it. <laughs> so, um, I will lo fi trap the loop out. That's yeah, I'm not really into lo um, to trap music. I do like 808s, so if I can figure out my own way to like merge both the 808s and like the lo fi, yeah, it'd be dope because I don't use a lot of 808s in my beat, um, at least for like the low five beats I will pull it out for like my um dance music for sure. Oh that's what's up, Saturday night. You have a Wake Forest store? So you have a store in Raleigh and Wake Forest? And you're hosting a Pride listening party. That's what's up. I had no idea. You guys check out the record crazy Wake Forest store on Saturday. They're doing a listening party. <laughs> um, Wake Forest, North Carolina. How does one deal with how whack their first productions will be? Um, post it on SoundCloud. I um, you're gonna be whack and it's okay, but release it, let it go. The cool thing, what I did with a lot of my first beats, literally, I posted on SoundCloud. And I went back to the beats when I learned, when I knew more stuff and finished the idea that I originally had. And it was really nice because then I sold those beats. So, yeah. Don't delete them. Do not delete. Do not delete your beats. Do not delete your ideas. Save them. You can always go back and be like, okay, I see where I was, what I was trying to do. It's going good. We're making beats. I'm going to go ahead and continue to see what I can do with this. Let's listen. <laughs> nice. So the cool thing with Serato, I can take the bass out. Um, so this is going to be. Ooh, OK, OK. I got to duplicate it. This first one is not gonna have the base. The second one will. When I can hear it from here, hear this one. Nice with no base. With base. Let's listen to it.
automation is crazy. I didn't get the NP. What in the world? I what made you get the NPC from the machine? Y'all love pissing me off. <laughs> um, I didn't get. I just. It was, I'm an influencer, y'all. Company things. Y'all really think I'm just gonna be in the house with just one thing? Things gonna come out. Companies gonna send me stuff. I'm gonna ask for it. They gonna send it to me. Like this NPC that I have right here is a loaner device. It's from Zounds. It's like oh, it's like it's about three thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I could purchase it, um, if I want to, but I'm gonna probably give it back. Probably I don't know. I don't know. I love it. I love it. But it's it's not it's not giving me fully what I need as far as the machine. Um, but that's they all do different stuff. So like I feel like a broken record right now. Yeah. But it's okay. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. Let me explain. One thing. Okay, let me explain. Machine is always going to be my number one favorite and go to device because it's has a software it is mainly software the device itself is a midi controller okay it make it enhances the software the software to me is like a doll it's not really fully a doll yet it's almost a doll it, it it's like a 90 it's like 97 percent a doll but it's it's not fully it's not giving logic or ableton yet um it's I, I'm it's getting there. It's getting there. Um. That being said, I don't need the controller to use. I don't need like, I don't need this controller to use machine. Like, I'm using the software, and if anything, I'm not even using machine right now. I'm using Serato. Like, <laughs> we 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 use different things depending on what's going on. So like right now, this beat is super short. So what my intentions is, is to like, see if I could get the beat in Serato and then get a whole different sample and a whole different drum pattern to flip the song. So the song is actually longer, but it has two beats in it. So it really, it's really not the the device, the software, the hardware, it's the the artist. It's really like, What's kind of going on in your head and like, you know, so this song is super short. It's just ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh. You know, we can't do that for two minutes. You know, we ooh, it's it, I mean, y'all be doing that. Y'all gotta stop doing that. <laughs> y'all gotta stop doing that. So, um, what I'm trying to do is flip the song into a whole different thing. So I'm gonna pull up Serato. So like. Everything does something different. No, no devices. No, nothing is the same. So like everything is, is um has its pros. Just like every DAW, every hardware is different. I just gonna I'm gonna pick up more stuff over time. You know I'm gonna have like you know if something if they come out with something tomorrow tomorrow I'll be like Phew. I'm not using Ableton so I ain't got to push. I ain't going. I ain't gonna look into it today. But I've been wanting to get an NPC. That's like the whole purpose of me getting the machine. So like. If there was no NPC, there would be no machine. You know, the machine is way more affordable than the NPC. This is very expensive. I don't expect for everyone to have this, nor do I expect to have it myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a computer. So I think it's important to, like, recognize, like, they're both pretty much amazing. It's just, like, one is, it's, like, this is the Backstreet Boys. And then this is <laughs> and um over here is in sync. But they're both as good as really <laughs> saying that. But uh that's my analogy. Without the Backstreet Boys, there would be no in sync, but in sync is dope. Right? So right now it's sounding a little wonky. Let's see if I could uh oh.
got to see the fine details of these samples, y'all. Okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. To another whole another song that's what this is what's in my hand you see it's not it's not the i'm waking up my dog it is not the program it's the artist it's like what do you hear in your head i'm like all right i hear i hear this hold on let me open another thing go here go to drums
a whole nother sample and I don't even know I'm just gonna let me just browse let me browse through my sounds anything where should I go I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm committing. I don't know. Yeah. That'll do SpongeBob.
vibe out with me, make some beats. Sounds so good. We're so further. Just add some oh. random stuff. Oh. My first software back in the day, Zay. Wow. I haven't tried Logic yet. Logic is definitely something y'all need to wrap your heads around, especially with this Adobe Atmos and the requirements of Apple Music requiring you to have the Adobe Atmos format in order to get on playlists. It's a thing. Especially if you like, I would highly recommend people understanding how to use Adobe Atmos in the 360 audio, that the new format of listening to music. Because if you understand how to mix and engineer it, you're going to make so much money in this next generation of of um, engineers and um, producers. So, uh, y'all, don't be sleeping on this stuff. Thanks for explaining. And yes, of course, I'll be happy to have your vinyl and cassettes at Record Crate. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can see it now. It's, it's got my little tab in there. It says, Spare the Instrumentalist. And I go to my vinyl. It says, Microwave Beats, Volume 1. Oh my God. It's happening. I'm so excited, y'all. Hello, AF Major Beats. Hell yeah, your stuff are sa samples. Yep. Yep, yep. I need an overlay like this. What up, Accurate Beats? How are you doing today? What time is it over there where you're at? Oh, you've been in um, Wake Forest for seven years. That's amazing. That's cool. I can see people sampling your stuff right now. Cool. <laughs> Thank you for coming by to say hi. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Trying out Serato. Seeing if this flip up, switch up. I'm just going to continue to, to work on this. See, even if they don't even pair together, at least I could probably like. I, hmm. We'll see. I'm still thinking about it. So let's still chop this up. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, let me go ahead and hit select all and just delete it and just start fresh. 
I'm just go right here and drag this down. some stuff. Just messing around with the low pass filter. Like I said, the automation on Dorado Studio is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna stay like that. So for this one, I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna do the second verse. Exactly. 
maybe I'll just make that ooh yeah, ooh yeah song. It literally just a, a 30 second beat. Um, and then just make this other thing its own thing. But like, I'm really working on figuring out how to flip songs in a song where they actually sound good together. Definitely have some, but I don't think this flow is not, it, not giving me the the mash, but you know, the peanut butter jelly combination. It's 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 good on its own, you know. That's what I'm getting from this. So, but let's just listen to it while I'm while I speak to y'all. <laughs> I wish I could delete these two things. Do not play. Do not play. Do not. Insane if I want to break up with somebody. I use Backstreet Boys if I want to be with somebody. So listen to track four on the Backstreet Boys. But if you're like, listen to track four on Insane. I need it to be off, but I need this one to be on. I don't know. I don't Yeah, I'm gonna have to make this that particular beat in machine because I like the way I can overlap samples in machine. This one literally confines me to exactly the seams. Okay, no problem. But we did, you know, but we we did here to this new song. At least I made another song. I got another song that I made today. I'm new to them, so I'm trying to like understand them. 
Mm-hmm. Like even with Serato Studio, I'm I went to a like a little camp where they showed us more about how to use it. So I'm understanding it, but it's still not machine. I understand fully how to use machine and how to make beats and do it really quick. So like once you master your your program, you can go to other ones and see how similar they are and how different they are. And like I like I I wish this particular feature was in machine where you could switch up the um the sample by having like the project know like or the project knows the note of the the entire project. So if every single dog could have that, that would be beautiful. But this is a very distinct thing that Serato does. So I really enjoy that feature. Oh, it's you're talking about Serato Studio? This is Serato Studio. Brown. Yes. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna take this part. Copy it. Okay, cool. Interesting because it's playing in a low pass filter and it sounded pretty good actually. So. <laughs> nice. That's dope. Okay, I'm going to clear it out though. Candle and incense, an old defeat. 
music around you. Go ahead and light it up. Get the vibes rolling. Clear out the negative energy. I'm gonna put it up. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and at least work on them separately, you know. Dang, we got New Zealand in the house. Come on. Hold on. What my thing ain't working? Hold on. Carl, we got a call from New Zealand. Listen, we got the whole world. We got Africa, South Africa, Australia. We got um, Georgia. We got, we got Charlotte. That's crazy. I appreciate each and every one of y'all coming. That means a lot because it's like we can reach so many people with the internet, with music. It feels great. Um, Like, what time is it over there? Like, it's a whole nother day. Why is my screen so big? Do, of course appreciate you guys coming through appreciate you hanging out with me in the chat i wish that i could like interact with y'all in a different way in a more personalized way um tripping my dog out here <laughs> um appreciate you coming through um these records don't price themselves <laughs> want to price some more before tomorrow that's what's up so that's awesome i miss that record store um so i got i got this beat uh it took all the time just to record all those songs so i think it's just important to finish what you have um or finish what you what you started so this weekend i think definitely will be finishing these these beats that i recorded into machine Thank you for subscribing, Na Wang. Appreciate you. Got the whole world in here. But I appreciate you guys coming through. But um, I'm going to take these songs this weekend or probably next week and um, go to the studio, add some bass lines, um, add some sprinkles. The cool thing about Serato, so like, let's, I'm not even going to stop. Let's, let's keep going. Cause the cool thing about it. You know, you can pull up any instrument and let's just see. Let's go to the end of this. Or let's go to the low pass.
like about Serato is that you can pull up any instrument and it's gonna sound okay with your song. Even that's like a little accent. I like an effect to it or something. I appreciate Y'all can still hear me out there loud and clear Oh look my chat's working now Look, OBS It's Mercury in retrograde What's going on? Read some of y'all questions before I leave. Before I leave, before I leave, before I leave, hope you with me. Cause I'm still with you. Exactly. Okay, y'all are having a whole conversation. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. What do you do? And you are doing it well. Okay. Do what you do. Okay, I see. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever saw a beautiful view of Ella or Element? Oh, why does it do this? Why does it do that? I don't know. I got some issues here. It says, um, great. Have you ever seen a beautiful, beautiful view or element of nature that has made you do beat tape? There's this mountain in Arizona. Um, you should probably do that. I think it's a good idea. You should make a beat tape based off what you see. Obviously, just was like, stop talking. <laughs> it's time for me to get my attention. <laughs> I guess 
the attention uh to the person. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all. Yeah, she wants all the attention. I see. <laughs> um, I was on the fence about Serato Studio, good looking and info. I didn't know it was sub based. I think they have two options. They have two options, right? You can buy it up front or get a subscription. I like when I, they have options. But it's worth it. It's worth trying, you know. Um, Yeah. It's definitely worth trying, so. Yeah, I'm going to go because my dog is just very much giving dog vibes. And she was sleeping. And now she's, she's not. my attention she's like i'll give y'all two hours the past two hours that's enough <laughs> well i'm gonna be back next friday at two o'clock making some more beats i'm probably gonna finish up these beats so we can start some fresh beats next week and um continue making beats i hope you all have a great weekend and do something fun do something treat yourself be safe and um, create something. I know I will. Peace. Love y'all.